yawning day. No, you guys. <laughs> you gotta say this on camera. Say it. Okay, I was yawning and I was like, I'm gonna learn how to drive, mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that sounds so hillbilly. I get it. blown away that we're doing an intro. We're filming the intro now after we're already done with her makeup. But that's usually how we do intros. <laughs> so, don't glare at me. That's All right, so. <laughs> Hi, beauty babes. Welcome to my channel. I am Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. And so, I'm Kaya, aka Kaya. <laughs> I was gonna introduce you. Today's <laughs> video obviously is a video of featuring my daughter Kaya and if you remember her from the last video we did together she has since dyed her hair red. Um, yeah, <laughs> Definitely needs a root touch up soon but anyways oh, yeah. we're, we're not talking about that now. Today we're, <laughs> today we're going to do, I know I promised this in my last video, she did my makeup. If you haven't seen that I encourage you guys to go watch it. She actually did pretty good. Um, and I said that we'd probably do another video where I did her makeup, but every time she had some time off from school, she was sick, unfortunately. She gets strep throat very easily, and so, and unfortunately for her, actually, any time that she had time off from school was actually during holidays. So she was sick for Thanksgiving, she was sick for okay. um, Christmas, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas. And um, another time you guys had time off, I can't quite remember. But anyways, they had this whole week off for President's Week, and so we were like, we're gonna, we're gonna make some time to film. Finally. Um, I don't know how many months later, but it's <laughs> happening. And so what we basically did, I did her makeup, kind of a very dramatic look. It's um, not something she would ever wear uh, normally at all. <laughs> she is just, well, she's gonna be turning 13 um, in a few days. I don't know when this video is going to go live, but her birthday's on the 28th, so she'll be 13, which is insane. I know you guys saved the comments. I know she looks older than 13. I know. <laughs> I hear it all the time. Um, so, yeah. And especially with the makeup. Of course, she's going to look... She looks way older with the makeup. Um, so this is something we're doing for fun. It's not something she, she doesn't wear all the time. Um, if anything, she wears lipstick every once in a while, and then a little bit of mascara, maybe, and then concealer. Um, but other than that, I'm still... I think we talked about this last time, trying to get her on a good uh, routine for washing her face and taking care of her skin. Um, so, Nobody got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to need time for that, otherwise you're not going to have good skin. So I believe skincare is first and number one in beauty. If you want to wear makeup and stuff like that, you need to know how to take care of face first. So we're still working on that. Obviously she has not gotten that ingrained in her mind yet. But I'm talking and that's going to be on film. You okay, know? well... The mascara is like ruining okay. my eyes to you. <laughs> I remember. Okay. So anyways, uh, so yeah, this is just something very, 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 <laughs> very, very um, dramatic and fun. You know, that's for fun. I'm just going to start that. So what do you think of the look, Kai? I like it. Yeah. She picked out this look. She oh, um, looked on my It's on. Like, oh, it, it's, it's on. You'll, you'll get that reference in a minute. Uh, she looked up online a look that she liked, and we kind of just wanted to recreate it all in sort of photo here so you guys can see what we were inspired by. And Mace, Mason Lee. <laughs> Mostly and mainly, that's what Mason Lee means. Um, we were um, inspired by the lip, and we actually got a pretty close lip match, I think. So, um, yeah, is there anything you want to say, Kai? Mm. Did you have fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had fun. It was fun to do her makeup. She looks gorgeous, of course. So, um, yeah, I guess since that is it and I'm doing all the talking, um, we're going to go ahead and roll into um, the makeup. And yeah, this is a full face. I did full face, just I didn't say that. So, it'll be eyes, face, everything. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, first things first. <laughs> we're going to go in with the. Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. This is not going to be the type of tutorial where you can see everything super close up. <laughs> going with the Too Faced Stardust Palette, we're going to go into the shade Millennial. That will be our crease shade. And I do have this big fluffy brush that tries and bring that to her crease. And her eyelids 
are very different than mine. <laughs> so, and a little bit smaller because her face is, she's still young. Wait, let me see, are her faces? <laughs> They're about the same size, I guess. Why do you seem so small? She's still my baby, no, my baby face. So as you can see, I'm just kind of working that into the outer corner and then I'm gonna slowly bring it into the um, forward, into the crease. Her crease isn't as defined. I don't know if I would consider your lids hooded or not, but it's not It's not as defined as mine. So we're gonna kind of um, create a crease for her with this color. So close your eyes so you can see. That's kind of what we did. I think you can see it be better. Just kind of added that definition and the crease there. And what I think I'm gonna go into next is a shade called Girls Night. And it's just a little bit darker, a little bit more brown. The look she's going for is actually a little bit more cool tone, but she really likes this palette, so we're gonna go make it work with this. So I'm gonna take this kind of tapered brush, I always talk about it, it's the Sedona Lace EB09, and I'm gonna take that into the shade Girls Night and kind of really get that into the crease and make it a little bit more defined. So I won't be taking it as high as I took the other color, but just slowly, here, let's see, let's see, we'll just kind of take it down here. And just slowly bring it up and inwards, but not as high as the other shade. I'm trying to do this in such a way that my hand doesn't get in the way of the camera. <laughs> so I'm like, I feel like I'm doing it super weird. So this is what we have. You can see how there's just a little bit more definition there to the eyes and to that first color we laid down. Okay, so now we're gonna very carefully take this black, so we're looking at this picture that she picked out of what she wanted to recreate and gonna make it work. So it was kind of a darker brown, matte brown look, um, but the darkest brown of this palette is this one called Jackpot and it has too much gold shimmer in it. So we're gonna go with the black, which is called Sin City, and we're gonna try to go very light-handed. I'm gonna take that very same brush I was just using and just very lightly go into it. And we're just gonna... this color? I was thinking that. Double tap, too, but then it, I don't know if it would go with this lip. We'll make, we'll see. Do you want You would like that better? That one's a really pretty color. It's like a burgundy. Yeah. You want to just try that one? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna switch up. Okay, that's what I know what I was leaning towards, but anyways, okay. You can just change the lipstick anyways if it doesn't. Yeah, we'll, we'll change the lipstick. We had stuff set out to make it work, but if it's not, we're gonna go with the flow. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go into the shade Double Tap, which is this really gorgeous burgundy wine shade that I love. This is the shade that made me really really want this palette. I'm obsessed with those kind of colors. So we're still gonna go in very like handed with it. Same brush, so I'm just kind of tapping it off so we don't get too heavy handed with it. Cause, called double tap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one's called double tap, and I'm double tapping for sure. So I'm just going to go very, very light handed with it. And just bring that. What I'm going to do is create kind of a halo effect. So we're going to bring it on the outer and the inner and kind of leave the center part of her eyelid bare. I'm going to bring it very carefully to the inner corner and outer corner and sleep, sweeping just very um, subtly in the crease as well. Okay, so basically what I did off camera was just, yeah, I'm gonna close your eyes, darkened it up. Like I said, I was just adding a little bit at a time and I did leave just slightly a little bit of area open here because we're gonna cover that with another um, shadow. And go ahead and open your eyes. And um, because her eyes are a little bit more hooded, like I said, bringing that shadow up here, now we can really see it. And this is definitely going to be um, a pretty dramatic look. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually take that first, I believe this is the first brush we used, um, blending brush, I'm just gonna, no excess product, just go and kind of blend everything together and out just a little bit more. So next thing I'm going to do is we're going to go into like this one. Okay. So we're going to go in with the strip, which is this shade. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <okay. laughs> this shade right here. I'm trying to look at the viewfinder. It's way over there. Um, and I don't know. I might have to add a little bit of a little bit more primer and get this wet. But I'm going to just go in with it right now, just as it is, and see how it comes out. 
I'm just take this flat um, brush and I'm just gonna kind of pat it on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to get this wet because right now her lid's dry, the primer dried, and this I usually find with more metallic -y shadows, you definitely need to get the brush wet or add a little bit of primer. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Too Faced primer, I put a little bit right here if you can see that. I'm gonna dab the brush in it to get it a little bit of wet, a little bit of wet. <laughs> I'm gonna close your eye. I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe that on your her lid right in that center spot and then I'm going to go into this shadow, the strip, and we're going to really pack it on, let's see, the brush and just kind of pat it. There you go. Now that color's popping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're just going to kind of pat and sweep. And this is looking very similar to that look. Okay. The colors are not exactly the same, but the look is very similar. And I'll have to insert a picture, a clip of that, um, a photo, of, a photo of that photo. <laughs> I'll put it in the video of what we were inspired by. And if I could figure out who it's by, she just Googled it and found it. I don't know who doesn't look familiar, but we can give credit. But anyways, so you guys can see what we were inspired by. Do they look good? They do. I like how it looks. You see it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is all right. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I can't hear this, that was what I was gonna say. Um, so basically what we kind of created was a little bit of a spotlight eye or a halo eye is kind of what this is called, where you have the color in the center, the main color focus, and a little bit of um, color on the outside. But we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, just a little bit of um, cleaning it up. Um, let's see, not, what are we doing? I'm gonna bring back a little bit more of that color double tap just to bring this in a little bit more and make it look a little bit more seamless. So we're gonna just do a little bit of blending. I don't know if you can really see that or not, but just make it like a little bit of a fade. And I just basically, I'm taking this little pencil brush here. And so we're just gonna fade that color back in there and make that center spotlight eye look like it's just kind of fading in and out right there in the center. All right, so we basically off camera, I did add some more of double tap to her lower lash line, and then I went in with a little bit of millennial um, to blend it out a little bit so it didn't look so harsh on her skin. And even though she looks crazy right now, you guys know that my makeup looks always look crazy. Let me, let me get in the camera. That <laughs> we look a little bit crazy um, at first until we get the rest of the face done and clean things up. But aside from that, I think like this. This look is really making your eyes like pop. It looks really, really good. So <laughs> we are gonna be done. Actually, no, let's do a little bit of, we didn't do anything for the brow bone. Let's do a little bit of that. And then we'll move on to the rest of the face before we finish up with mascara or maybe lashes. I don't know if you wanna do lashes or not. But anyways, um, I'll do the brow bone and then we'll, we'll move on to her face. All right, <laughs> so chandelier is what we're going into. We're gonna just take that to her brow bone right here. We're just gonna take that to the brow bone and blend it down. I like doing this because anytime we um, bring the the crease color up pretty high, um, you can get a uh, you can clean it up and blend it out and make it look not as harsh. Even though we do blending, so it doesn't look harsh, but adding the highlight here and bringing it down, blending it into that crease color just makes it look a lot more softer and more diffused. So we're gonna go in with the rest of our face to kind of clean up a little bit of that fallout here. I'm not gonna put any primer on her face. Let's, let's <laughs> um, primer helps your foundation stay on because I'm actually um, I had to kind of rummage through my makeup to see what would work for her skin tone because as you can tell she's quite a bit more fair than me she's definitely White. um <laughs> well not only that we're just different skin tone I'm more olive gold yellow undertones she's um, lighter than me but she also has more pink. paper tones so. <laughs> she's got a lot more pink tones to her skin so we're just kind of like I don't really have much um, so what I found, what I said I'm going to use is the IT Cosmetics, um, Your Skin But Better CC creams that I have. I have the illuminating one and then the regular one. These are in the shades medium, but I find that even for me, they tend to look a little bit light. So I think that they might work for her. So that's what I'm going to use in her. And she's not, I don't 
it's not like we're going anywhere, we're doing this for fun, so she doesn't need primer to keep it on or anything like that. So I am going to put on some um, moisturizer though before we get started. This is the Provice uh, Hydro Milk. Uh, I love this stuff. It's really, really good. So, oh, so we're going to start out with that. So I'm going to put a little bit on. I'm going to go ahead and take my ring off because I don't want to get it all. So we're just going to moisturize her face. Oh, that smells good. It does. This stuff's so good. So I'm like, I'm gonna do her, you know, foundation. We're gonna. She does one thing that is similar to me. She did get my dark circles, unfortunately, um, which on her look a lot more. Um, on me, they look more brown, yellowy, yucky. On her, she's got more of those blue toned or purpley toned dark circles. So, anyways, we're gonna um, conceal those conceal any blemishes we are going to contour and all that stuff and I might do we're gonna do mascara she's got super long lashes once she's got <laughs> mascara on um, but we might do falsies too I'm not quite sure I've decided oh, on falsies. Yes, falsies okay I do have my um, real techniques sponge uh, it's a little bit dirty because I actually just put on my face and used <laughs> it but I'm gonna go in with that with her because it's not that big deal. I'm gonna take a little bit of both the illuminating corrector and a regular one that I have and it's probably still gonna look dark on you, I think. But we're just gonna see, we're gonna see how this works. Here in my mouth. <laughs> we'll see, all right. Let's... Oh man, look at that. Oh, it doesn't, I don't know if it shows on camera how... You can see it a little bit. How dark, oh yeah, 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 you can see. Okay. <laughs> oh god. In focus, okay, yeah. Well, so that's just the deal. I've got all yellow toned products. Look at this. So she's gonna have more of a, yeah, we're gonna make her my skin tone. Oh man. Yeah, we might have to shear this out. But also once I add some bronzer and stuff like that, it will, um, you know, it'll all work itself out. Well. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna blend this all in. So I think I pretty much blended in. I went on really thick. It was thicker than I remember. I could have sworn I remember this being a more thinner, I don't know, I was thinking of like a BB cream or something like that, but I forgot how full coverage is. Anyways, but I just kind of really sheared it out pretty good. And so it's obviously still, um, She's starker <laughs> from here to here, but <laughs> it's the best we can do with what we're working with. It definitely is a pretty good coverage. I don't know if you guys could see before, she did have some blemishes up here, and they're actually pretty well covered, so. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna move on to doing a little bit of concealer for her dark circles. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use my current favorite. This is the Naked Skin Concealer, and I use this shade Light Warm, so it's going to be <laughs> definitely warm. Wait, did I start playing? So we're gonna put that. <laughs> what are you doing? Honey. <laughs> Gotta stop right here. Okay, so chin down a little bit. Come this way just so we can pick up any excess and it doesn't settle on any creases. Alright, so right away I'm going to go ahead and set that, um, and I'm going to be using this, there's not much left, it looks like there's nothing, but there is. This is the Milani um, Multitasking Face Powder. I have had this for a long time, obviously, because it's um, almost gone, but um, it was, I re recently rediscovered it in my collection and have fallen in love with it. It's such a great powder, so I'm just taking this Real Techniques setting brush and I'm going under her eyes with it with this powder because this is the lightest powder I have. It's in the shade light medium, but it's super light. It can be used as a setting powder. It could be used as a kind of a foundation if you wanted, but I love this as a setting powder, especially under my eyes. I actually find that it's very um, similar, I think, to the um, lightest shade in the Too Faced Cocoa Contour, which is, I love that, but I hit pan on it and it's pretty much gone. So when I rediscovered this, I was actually pretty happy to find that it was very similar to that powder so this will also lighten up her face a little bit too and I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush from Real Techniques and swirl that around and get any extra and just kind of 
fluff it all over her face. So this is gonna lighten it up just a little bit. And also it's going to um, set any of the foundation that we put on that might still be a little bit um, sticky or tacky at all. So that when I go in with some uh, contour, it won't look muddy. Hopefully, we'll see because she's so fair. <laughs> see, now it doesn't look too bad. Like, I mean, you could tell there's obviously a little bit compared to her <laughs> chest right here. It's very pink and this is very yellow, but relatively same shade-ish. <laughs> At least that's what we're, you know. We're gonna tell ourselves because that's what we have to work with. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna go into contour with, I have quite a bit of contour products, um, but, a lot of them do lean warm so um, this is one of the lightest I think more um, I would say pink toned um, or cool toned contour palettes that I own and this is the it's from it cosmetics it's the my sculpted face so we're gonna go into that because it does have um, some this one's actually pretty orangey but anyways these two are very very cool toned, very very um, pink toned. oh god I'm so nervous I'm going to be taking my angled brush this is from Sedona Lace B 850 or 850 <laughs> brush so that's what I'm using I just wiped it off all my product because I just used this too so I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade I'm just gonna kind of pat it actually I might even I'm gonna get both of them in there and we're just gonna go very light-handed so go ahead and look this way look at the camera and I'm gonna take that very lightly we're gonna keep it very subtle and then build it up to see if we need to add anything more It almost looks like a blush, it is so pink. Oh, your hair looks really pretty. Thanks. In what way? <laughs> I don't know, it just looks like, it looks like wavy, but not too wavy. It looks like, like I don't know, it just looks really pretty. <laughs> Interesting that she said that because I um, used for the first time that those products I got from, I know it keeps, I'm like, <laughs> where is it, where's that hair? From Monate. I got products, I mentioned it in my Mailbox Monday video, and I used them for the first time um, last night. So, hmm. yeah. <laughs> so let's see, we got four, don't quite have my five head. <laughs> so wait, I'm gonna do a little bit of shading up here. It's actually five. Huh? Whoa. I, yeah, <laughs> I, got, I got a five, five finger head. I got a five head well, for I sure. I didn't realize you could have <laughs> one. Um, yeah, I, I, my, my, um, yours is kind of, it's more rounded though. My, um, hairline shape is almost like an inverse Whoa. widow's peak. You know how it kind of, a widow's peak comes down like this. Mine like comes in here and goes up. And if any of you guys ever noticed, I don't know if I've mentioned this on, my, my videos before but if anybody ever noticed most of my Instagram photos are cropped from like my eyebrow and down that's why we're, <laughs> we're cropping that five head out of there <laughs> so yeah we contour that and even that's you know doesn't doesn't always help but you know we will add just a little bit of shadowing up here not a lot because she's got a nice nice forehead <laughs> Just going in very, very light handed. I am not, I guess, I know, I was thinking we were gonna do something very dramatic and stuff, but I'm still, I'm like, I don't wanna go crazy on her. So, we're just going very, very subtle. It looks really, really pretty actually, I think. So should we go, um, a little bit more extreme and do a little bit of a nose contour or no? My nose what contour is, is really, to really um, strong today. What is it supposed to do? Um, make your nose look a little bit slimmer. Might as well, I mean, add like a little bit of uh, something there. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna take this one, just like a small angle brush. Lately what I've been loving to do, where is it? I've been using my, um, this oh. brush that came with the Lorac Pro Contour Kit. Um, soft. It is very soft, but this one I think might be a little bit, I don't know, I actually could try it. I was going to go in with this smaller, but I've been loving this lately actually for like really just getting like that 
perfect line because it's just this long. Anyways, but that's what I've been using. Maybe we'll go ahead and try that with you. But my nose contour was actually really strong today. I couldn't blend it out as well. <laughs> so let me wipe this off. I'm very, so here's what I've been doing with mine. And I've just kind of been going from the, the brows and just kind of taking it like this and then angling it, almost making like a little, <laughs> making from, a, from the brows a little bit of a V down here. We do have the same nose, believe it or not. Um, mine just looks different because it's contoured, but yeah. Um, so we both have like this very rounded nose here. And so what I'm gonna do is just bring from the eyebrows and kind of bring it in right here to make the focus look like a little bit smaller, a little bit more narrow. And this just essentially gets my first line on there and then I'll go and blend it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this little blending brush. Yeah, see, see, do you see how it kind of made a difference? Do you see that? Yeah. How it made a little bit, her nose look a little bit more narrow. Like, <laughs> a little bit more cute. <laughs> Not that she didn't have a cute nose before. She, I've always thought she had a cute nose. It's, even though it's just like mine and I hate my nose, but. <laughs> That's because, I don't know, fun fact, if you guys knew this, but did you know your nose never stops growing? Your nose and your ears are things... ears? Yeah. As you, um, you know, as we get older, certain things stop growing, but your nose and your ears are two things that do not ever stop growing. Well, that so. sounds for Xander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So... <laughs> Well, and because my nose is bigger, so that's why I just, anyway, so we're going to kind of just um, take this and I took just a tiny bit more product and just blended it out. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, yeah, we didn't go crazy, but there's a difference, obviously. So then I usually, what I do is take this brush, that's when I go in with this brush and I'll um, clean up the sides like, like this. And I, that's what I've been loving. <laughs> the on. <laughs> there it is. Taking this powder um, before, and so I'm just going to go along right here and just kind of clean up a little bit more. Even though I went super light-handed on this. And then just bring it a little bit of a highlight down the center of the nose. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, oh, and I didn't do this, which is something we should do, is I like to add a little bit of um, something here to give her lips a little bit more of a pout. Um, so there you go. And we're gonna be doing lips in a little bit. But so, so far, let's see. Um, should we do next blush? Blush and then we'll go into some highlights. This is just like a little mini cute um, Too Faced blush. It is the shade Love Hangover. It's one of the Love Flushed blushes, so it's got like a cute little heart on it, and mm -hmm. I just kind of think that might be cute. I'm gonna take this brush. This is very looks very similar to the Sedona or wait Sedona Lace Sedona Lace brush. This one is a Luxie brush. This is the Luxie Large Angle, the 504, and it's gonna Luxie dip in there. Luxie pineapple. No. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it, and this one's a synthetic brush, whereas the this one was natural hair, um, and I like that for bronzer contour, but I like the synthetic natural for Natural hair, like our hair? Like natural, like animal hair. I think this is goat oh. hair. I believe the white hair is goat hair. Okay. Anyway, so anyway, we're gonna go into that, and they smile a little bit, and let's see, where would do the best finger to mm, We're gonna just, I'm gonna just tap it on right here, and just, yeah, that looks good. You guys can't see because it's on that side. This is my bad side. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you do? No, I just, I was like stamped it on, but I didn't mean to. Okay, I, this is the side you guys need to see, but I'm on this side. We probably should have switched sides, but to be honest, this is, this is my good side. I don't like being filmed on this side because it's not my good side. This is my good side. So now we're making things difficult because I had to be on the, my good side. <laughs> so. Okay, here, look at me. <laughs> And for blush, I really just like to just kind of pat it on and then sweep back. Just because then you get kind of just like how much blush what you're putting on, you just pat it on and then sweep back. You're not just straight up like putting it on your face. War paint. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna just there you go. Alright, so and then I always like to do this regardless of how much I put on. What are you doing? Where's that? Okay. Is take my big 
um, setting brush. This is actually the blush brush from Real Techniques. Like, how blush is that a brush. blush brush? That's insane. I like it to set, so I'm just gonna go back and take that and go over everything I just did, the contour, the everything. Even though we went really light-handed. With me, I'm always like crazy packing the powders on my face, so I like this really helps to blend everything out, but I kept it really, I tried to at least light-handed on her, so we don't have a ton to blend out, but as far as like the blush and everything, just kind of, this makes it just a little bit softer. So, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with highlight. And um, I decided I'm gonna use the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill collab. What is this? What was this called? The Glow, Champagne Glow palette. But I haven't actually oh, used pretty. this on camera before. And that's really because I actually don't do my full face on camera. I only do eye looks. So this is kind of fun because I get to show some of the products that I have and some of the products I use because I'm doing a full face look on Kaya. So let's start with Pearl and see how that looks. And just and turn your face this way. I'm just gonna bring it. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it yet, but you guys will. Will those see it in a minute? Gosh, <laughs> get out of my way! All right, tilt your head a little bit like this. They can, so they can see. Tilt it. Show off that yeah. highlight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so we're gonna bring it on. Okay, look at me a little bit. On down the bridge of her nose. Get a little bit on that the tip of the nose, get the cupid's bow. So we did the contour on the cupid's bow, or on the lower lip, and then we're gonna do the highlight on the cupid's bow. Cupid's bow. Okay, and that's a lot on the nose, so I'm gonna have to brush it off in just a minute. But, let's go into the other side. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see, how does that look? So move your head, face, oh yeah, oh wow, that's pretty. Do you see it, guy? Yeah. Do you see the glow? I like it. Are you loving it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they call that? What? You know yes. what they call that? No, not that. <laughs> oh. You know what they call your highlight? What? Do you know what they call it? Ready? Highlight on fleek. <laughs> oh my, that's what they call on fleek. That means on fleek? Yeah. Since when? Since a long time ago. I'm not cool. I don't ever I actually, know. I never actually say on fleek. It's, I just, it's, I know okay. that's Aunt Mona thought it was on fleck, so. On <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Aunt Mona, you're in trouble. I'm just kidding. No, honestly, I don't ever say on fleek, but I'll like hashtag like on fleek. You know on what I mean? Fleek? On fleek? On fleek. Okay, so now we know, wait, what is it? I'm learning things. <laughs> on fleek. On fleek like this. I mean, that's really? what I've always been doing this whole entire time. Okay, so anyone who's like, what, how old am I again? I'm, wait, how old am I? 31. 31. Oh yeah, okay, I was gonna say 32. <laughs> I'm gonna be 32 this year. So anyone 30 and older, I, maybe you're cooler than me and knew that, but if not, <laughs> we just learned something new. So, <clears throat> highlight on fleek, but I guess, I don't know. That looks stupid. <laughs> so, now that our highlight's on fleek. <laughs> um, on point. On point. Um, what else do we got to do? We got to do lipstick, <sighs> lips, lashes, lashes, her brows, like she was blessed with beautiful brows. Look at these brows. Let's take a minute and everybody like appreciate the perfectness of her One brows. One minute of silence. I know. <laughs> let's just <laughs> honor this. Oh, okay. Um, she was born with perfect brows and actually funny story. Um, my aunt, my aunt Kathy, mm -hmm. she, when she first like, first met Kaya, or was she, you were still a baby, but when she first saw her, she's like, Maria, she just about yelled at me. She was joking totally, but she's like, I know you didn't tweeze that baby's eyebrows, did you? <laughs> I was like, no, she was born with these perfect eyebrows, a lucky girl. <laughs> you didn't tweeze the eyebrows. Because did you? back then, my eyebrows, like I tweezed like crazy. They were like, you know, like they used to be a couple years ago before I grew them back out, but um, yeah, I was like tweez overkill, so everybody knew like I was like tweezer queen. I was like, no, this girl is just born with these beautiful eyebrows. I think when she's older, we might have to just tweeze just like the faintest little bit of hairs right here, but look at that shape. It's ridiculous. So good. All right, so anyway, so let's move on. We do have to do lips. <clears throat> and our plan is to use, because the look that she fell in love with, she liked the lip color, um, and it looks very, very similar. If not, doesn't it look just like this? It does. Yeah, that's what, as soon as she said that, I was like, oh, I have a color that would match that. 
So this is actually the Luxe Pineapple uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Spritz. Um, but I'm not sure if that's gonna... What? I love these lipsticks. Yeah, I'm not, I think this will still match the look. The look she had is a little bit more brown and silver, but I think this will still match the lips. So that's what we're gonna go with. <clears throat> I don't, and then if anybody's curious, I brought out this for, because I'm actually, actually, <laughs> actually, I'm actually also wearing a Lux Pineapple <laughs> um, liquid matte lipstick, and I'm using the shade Kitten Heels, which, wait, yes, <laughs> which is one of my favorite um, ones, so that's what I'm wearing. What is this one called? This one is called Spritz. I think I said that already. I'm not. Oh, sure. yeah, you probably okay. did. So we're going to do that. I think we might do a lip, la <laughs> I can't talk, a lip <laughs> liner, not a lap liner. Um, but should we, I think we need to finish up the eyes first and I'm not sure, but we might, I might just fill in the brows just a little, with a little bit of color just because even though they're like perfect, um, since the eye look is so dark, we want to just give the brows a little bit more definition. So I'm going to grab some products and then we'll be right back. I did one brow off camera and I'm going to do the other one off camera again because it's like pointless, but I just want to show the difference. Like this is the brow that I did. And all I did was use the It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. Um, on my eyebrows, I'm actually using the It Cosmetics the Brow Gel and Dark Brown because I've gone from Universal Taupe to a little bit darker. I've been liking the way that looks. But anyways, um, I just want to show you guys the difference how um, it's very subtle. I barely applied any product, but just a little bit of definition really just kind of made it look a little bit better. So I'm going to do that one off camera and we'll be back again. All right, so we're going to go on with lips. And this isn't quite a color match, but I'm going to pair it anyways. This is the, um, from MBA Cos... <laughs> Let me swallow my spit for a second. This is from MBA Cosmetics, and it's the lip liner in the shade Passion. Passion. Oh, wait, wasn't I going to do your eyes first? Oh, well, we'll just do lips because we're already on it. So <laughs> I'm going to line her lips. So lean in. You want to yawn, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no way. Okay. okay. It's kind of like this. <clears throat> there. Ugh. We gotta fix it. Your lips are just like mine! One of them goes inwards. She asked me one time, why do I overline my lips? And I said, I started overlining to correct it because when I wear lipstick, it's a lot more obvious that one of my lips like one more of my lips. One part of my <laughs> lip kind of curves under and the other one goes out. And yours kind of does the same thing actually. I know. Do you see it? Now yes. it's lined. You see I've noticed that for a while. <laughs> yeah. Mine and her lips are exactly the same. So let's fix that a little bit. Looks weird now, but we'll fill, we'll fill it in with the lipstick. All right. So now we're going to go on the look of liquid lip. I can't, oh my goodness, I can't even talk. Okay, so uh, just open up a little bit. It's gonna feel weird. You're not gonna wanna put your lips together for a little bit at first. Oh, this color is so pretty. I forgot how much I really uh, like. Uh -huh. I know, it smells like vanilla. It smells really good. She said she liked the smell. In case <laughs> no one else understood that to me. Okay, lean in a little bit more. I'm gonna hold still because I don't wanna get this anywhere. I've never put liquid lipstick on somebody. All right, so it looks really, really good on here. One thing about Kaya, like I think she looks really, really good with dark lipsticks. She could really pull them off because she's got those light eyes and the fair skin, so the, the dark <laughs> ones look really, really good on her. I think dark looks, lipstick looks good on me too, but because I do have dark hair, I have darker eyes, I have darker skin, I feel like it just makes me look very dark. Um, but <laughs> just, she just like looked me up and down, didn't she? No, I was... Um, the... Wait, she what? Like She's like <laughs> Okay, so anyways, so I think I look a little bit more brighter and fun, like and more feminine. I don't know, when I'm wearing lighter lipsticks, though I like I said, I do love the look of that color, like on me too, but she looks really, really good in them, so mm. well yes. now when I want a lipstick, this is the one I want. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Our eyes. We're gonna do something a little bit scary. Um oh, we're gonna line your eyes. Are you scared? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh god, oh god. I don't know if this is gonna work. Actually, go over there and give me that thing that says UD. It's purple and white. <clears throat> We're gonna um, put some setting spray on her face. This? Yes. So, 
that if she does cry, <laughs> it doesn't ruin her makeup. Oh, okay. Goodness. So close your eyes. Give her a. Just keep her eyes closed. Keep them closed. Nope. There you go. A little bath in this. Urban Decay. <laughs> I'm trying to get the wind from the fan, too. Alright, 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 I think you're good. Okay, so... Oh, this is the Urban Decay 24-7. Does that go under my eye? It's gonna go in your eye. Like this. Hold on. Oh. Ew! <laughs> uh. Hold on. Are you Ew. gonna do it like on the lower eye bin? Like, are you gonna do it up or down? I'm gonna do it up. I wanna <laughs> do this. It's okay, it's okay. Um, it's okay. <laughs> Mom. Okay, let's oh my lean gosh. In. Lean in and look up. look up. No, it's gonna be really fun. Let's do no, this. No, it isn't. Okay, look up. If it gets too crazy, I just won't. Just, it's fine. Yeah, no, just, no I can't. No, I'm not. Okay, I okay. can't. How about the lower line? Lower line. You can do Okay, alright. Our eyes are already watered. Okay, look down. I started wearing black eyeliner when I was in seventh, seventh grade, I think. Or maybe it was eighth. She's a seventh grader. Okay, this will be a little easier because I can pull it out. I just like it looking better on the the upper line. I think that's called tight lining. I don't know. I've been doing it since I was in eighth grade or whatever. No, I can't but now do there's it. a fancy. If I can do it, it myself, <laughs> then I probably could. But, <laughs> but um, anyways, I just think it looks better because it makes the lashes look a little bit thicker and darker, and you know, you guys know. All right, lean in. Let's get that this side. But we'll just get the waterline, and even this actually is a. But look, look at how much, oh my god, look how much, I was going to say banging her eyes look. <laughs> banging. Her eyes are bigger than mine though. I mean, look at, mine are a lot more squinty and hers are big. Er. <laughs> okay. I actually think I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on her lower lash line first and then we'll do this. So I do have the, um, the Lancome mascara that I've been using and really loving. This is the Lancome um, Hypnos Drama Mascara. It's got that funky wand, but I like it because it's like, I don't know, perfectly shaped to your like eyes. So, all right, so lean in and look down a little bit. So maybe look up, I guess, but your face looking down. <laughs> so we're gonna do the lower lash. Line. I don't think we've ever done lower lash mascara on you before, have we? Mm -mm. Every time we've done mascara, it's always just been the top. <sighs> she doesn't wear makeup much. If she does, it's a little bit of concealer and a little bit of, um, Mascara, maybe, and then usually it's just lipstick. Okay, chin down, eyes up. Or, oh my gosh, even your lower lashes are so wrong. Alright, nothing crazy. I like how it's looking! <laughs> okay. Is it hard to put fake lashes on? Um, it's. I find it's easier for me to put them on other people, but I have, I definitely struggle putting them on myself. Not struggle, but I, it's, uh, struggle's real. real. <laughs> They're a pain in the butt. So I just let them dry first. Let it dry, let it dry. <laughs> let it shrivel up and die. <laughs> That's I two love different, that movie. Two different movies. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. Come on, he's with me. <laughs> chirp, that movie. chirp, chirp. <laughs> know what the, uh, <laughs> if you know what movie that is, uh, leave a comment with it. Leave, leave, leave it a as comment. a comment. <laughs> I can't talk. Let it die, let it die, <laughs> let it. I was actually thinking of let it go, and then it went to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Okay, it's almost done. Your eyes are. Lean in <laughs> and then look down. Okay, tilt your face. Good. Eyes down. There you go. It's gonna might. It's gonna might. <laughs> it might feel weird, but just hold it. Hold still. Let me see. Uh -huh. That's how sensitive eyes. My eyes are watering from it, and this is the eye, and you didn't even put it on this eye. <laughs> okay, hold on. Well, you could totally yeah. tell the difference. Yeah. Okay. Look up. No, just look at me. All right. We might. I think we're just. Ugh. I think we're gonna stick with mascara because this is Ugh. her eyes freaking out. So, note of those. Sensitive. Close your eyes. 
because I got a little bit of glue on there now. Okay, we're gonna go on to mascara. So, so we're just had mascara. We attempted lashes. You're not ready for those yet. Nope. She ain't ready for that jelly. Jelly. <laughs> you know, Beyonce song. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Oh yeah. I don't think you're ready for this. <laughs> Don't judge my singing by that. That was not I sing better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So link. Actually look down a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna get your top lashes. Alright, now look. Not all the way because you don't want to there you go. Blink. Blink. Hold your head back. There you go. Blink. Her eyelashes are so long, but they're also very like unruly and like crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, and we are done with her look. Go ahead and do a little side by side so everybody can see. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Really, really pretty. Very dramatic. We're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna get out of the way. I'm gonna zoom in on her get so out, we can really boy. see. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> we won't finish that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She's freaking stunning. Like seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that was it for um, doing my daughter's makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed and all that stuff. I like how it turned out. You guys let us know what you think. So, and then I'll, um, I'll have all the details of everything I used listed below because I know we kind of went really speedy. Oh, it wasn't so speedy. We took a long time actually. But um, yeah, I'll have that information. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, anything you want to say, um, to me, to Kaya, any requests for future videos if you'd like to see more with Kaya with me, um, let us know. <laughs> Just leave a comment. You guys know the drill. So um, that's all. We thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. <laughs>